<laughs> Welcome everyone to episode 436 of The Daily Mother Swole. Hold on, hold on. Oh, yeah, wait, 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 wait. yeah, ah, uh, uh. The sun is shining, the birds are chirping, the bacon is sizzling. Welcome to The Daily Swole. Welcome everyone, every day at 12 noon Eastern time right here on Facebook. Thanks for watching on YouTube and listening to the podcast on SoundCloud and iTunes. Here to blow up your eye holes, here to fuck your ear holes with them knowledge nukes because today we're getting yoked from my head to our feet because Papa Swoyo, as always, goes balls deep. We're going, we're doing a taint job today. I'm going to delete this 436. Bloop. And now it's time for the game train. Now's the time to like, now's the time to share, now's the time to tell everyone, all your friends, that Papa Soyo is going live and it's about to rage. And it's a call out show. It's a call out show. And those of you that follow the Daily Soul, you know once in a while, it's time for a call out. Once in a while, you have to be slapped upside the head with my fitness cock. And today is that day. Today is that day where I am going to slap you with the knowledge nuke schlong. And it's a feeling that I have. It's a feeling that I have deep down with inside Papa Swolio's pumped up yoked soul. It's something that I feel deep within. So before we go any further, I'll give you the chance to share because it's Sunday fun day. You're going to have some fun today. You're going to rage. You're going to throw some... going to... I don't know, I'm just going to attack you for a little bit emotionally. I'm going to break you down and then build you back up. You know how we do? No. There's a couple points I want to go over. So this is a call-out show. This is going to amp you up. We're going to get fucking fired up today. Uh, but this is one of those shows. It's a time of year. It's a time of the flow of the Daily Swole where people start slacking. And... I'm here every day, and some of you are here every day, and thank you so much for that. You know I appreciate it. But showing up is only part of it. Showing up is only part of it. Participating, liking, sharing the broadcast, commenting, dropping your own knowledge, news, participating, and a lot of you are doing that, and that's not what this is about. You guys are already rocking it. So those of you that are here every day and doing it, you're fucking on point. Because I feel that there is a significant part of the community that's coasting a little bit. It's normal. It's normal to get coasty. It's normal to kind of get like cruise control. And I get that. And I try very hard not to get cruise control myself. Every single episode is fucking fuego. Every single episode is just, you know, up to the tain. We're going full shaft. You know. You know, it's a daily swole. We never do just the tip. That's 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 not what we do. That's not what we do. That's not where that's not where the that's not where the sauce is. It's not the secret sauce. Uh, but I want to. I'm questioning some of you. I'm questioning some of your commitment levels. And this could be someone that's coming new to the community. This could be some some of you that's been here for a while. Um. And some of you might be members of my premium community already. Some of you might be here for the first time. What I want you to look within yourself, I want you to think about, are you truly committed? Are you truly committed? And why I'm asking you that is because I have this like feeling that there's a lot of like transient I've been getting, there's a lot more transient people coming into this community, this realm. And those of you that aren't aware, there is a private community. There is Swolenormous Premium, which is an exclusive membership community where we do the workshops and we do the exercise demos and workout programs and nutritional Q&As and stuff. That is solid. Premium is good. You still have some people coming into premium that don't deserve to be there. And premium memberships are going to get much more strict of who gets into those 
into that private group. And I'm just putting it out there. There'll be more announcements coming this week. So entry to that is going to get much more challenging. It's not gonna be a free for all. Because what I am finding is the quality of people that start to come into this sphere. And not just this, but anywhere, any gym, any fitness facility, any fitness community, specifically this one, because that's where we are right now. You get a lot of people that, how should I say? They expect handouts. People expect answers. People expect just ease. People expect, oh, I'm going to get this. Oh, this is possible. Oh, this is going to happen for me just because I turned on my fucking phone. You know, just because I have a thought in my mind that I am deserving of something. I'm deserving of a result. I'm deserving of something that is unrealistic. And I think there are people passing through here oftentimes that don't deserve to be a part of this community. I mean, in fact, I know that. Everyone's welcome. This is not an elitist thing. This is not, oh, I don't want you. You don't deserve to be here. And I might not be talking to any of you. I'm not saying that you are part of the problem. I'm not saying that you don't deserve to be here. I'm just telling you what I want. I'm telling you what my goal in creating and fueling the full enormous community. My goal is to sift through the bullshit. My phrase is fitness without the bullshit. That's what the daily swole is. It's like, Papa Swolio, what's the daily swole? And I say, it's fitness without the bullshit. Well, I think I'm not doing a good enough job of sifting through the bullshit. And for that, I apologize. And that comes down to me. That comes down to me. That's not your fault. That's not your fault. You know, that's not on you. It's up to me to screen. It's up to me to sift. It's up to me to block, to reject, to push aside those that, and I'm not talking about people that need help. I'm not talking about people that need help. I want you here. I want to help. The community wants to help. I'm talking about people that don't want help that are here, that are sticking their neck out, that talk. Okay, so this is what I want to talk about. This is the thing. It's about it's about commitment. I hope that's enough M's and T's. Everyone knows that commitment's got all sorts of fucking consonants in there. <laughs> it's about commitment. And more often than not, people talk a commitment game. People talk a motivation game. People talk an inspiration game. People talk the goal game, but they don't walk the game. So you heard the phrase, talk the talk, but don't walk the walk. And I just saw this in Cormai, Jesse, uh, hey, Swole, you can lead a horse to water if you can't make a drink. Absolutely. So here's what I'm going to do. If the horse won't drink, I'm going to drown the fucking horse. That's what I'm going to do. I'll lead the, I'm not leading anyone to shit. I'm offering some water. You don't want it, then either drown or get the fuck out and go back to the desert, right? The horse needs to want the water. You can't make it drink. The horse needs to want the water and need the water to the point where it can't do anything but drink the water. So I make everything very easy, right? I make everything very accessible. I make my premium group very accessible. I make my 90 day dash program very accessible. I make my live yoga group very accessible. Everything in this community, the Daily Swole contacting me, messaging me on Instagram, on Facebook, on Snapchat, wherever, I make it very accessible. Email, I'm very accessible. I'm very accessible, I answer any questions. Those of you that message me, you know, I'll get back to you really soon. But the commitment, it's like, I'm telling you, it's a sixth sense from an instructor, from a, you know, from just a professional point of view, I can smell it. I smell the fucking shit. I smell it. It's starting to rear its head. There's starting to be a lot of riffraff and a lot of fucking low level crap that's floating around. It's a poison. 
It's a poison and it's my job and it's my promise and it's my personal commitment that I'm not going to let that poison spread. So there will be more details on this coming, but I really want you in general to question your own commitment. I want you to think, are you truly committed? And what does that mean? It comes down to commitment relating to discipline. It comes down to commitment relating to your dedication. Do you have to work out every day? Fuck no, that's not what this is about. This is about physical, this is not about physical output. This isn't about physical working harder. This isn't about lifting heavier. It's not about putting 25 pounds extra on the bar and maybe hurting yourself. This isn't, oh, you're overweight and I'm calling you fat. That's not what this is. It has nothing to do with it. I don't care if you're 300 pounds overweight. I don't care if you're 50 pounds underweight. I want to get you where you need to go. I want you to have what you want, I, but I want you to have it, but I'm not going to hold your hand all the time and walk you to it. You have absolutely no, absolutely no obligation. You have absolutely no right to what you want. You have no right to it. You know, it's a free country. It's a free world. You know, I have a right to have what I want. You don't. You don't have a right to lose weight. You don't have a right to build muscle. You have to work your fucking ass off to it. It comes down to commitment, like, which has relations to consistency, has relations to discipline. Why do you want to do it? Your why, we talked about your purpose. Do you want to do it? Are you going to stick to it? Or are you going to talk? Or are you gonna be a part of this community for three fucking days and then quit? And I know not everyone can be saved. I know not everyone that comes across this is worthy of being a part of this community. And that's where it comes down to. That's what it comes down to. And not worthy as in some people are better than others, but worthy in the sense that people that are really going to make everything stronger. Because I will be fucking damned if I'm gonna let a couple people bring down the hole. And that's what happens. That's the importance of this. That's the importance of this as a poison. And it happens with you and your personal relationships, with friends you might have. You might have five amazing friends, but that one that's negative, that's bringing the whole fucking part of your life down. So one negative friend, one weak link is gonna bring the whole shit down. So with Swole Normous, here's how I mean commitment. You have a chain. And if you notice right there, that's the weak link in the chain. A chain is only as strong as its weakest link. These could be the strongest links in the fucking universe. And if that's made out of straw, the whole shit's gonna break. So I promise you that I am upping the game. I am upping the game. It's not your fault if you're part of this community and you're committed. It's not your fault, it's mine. It's mine. I will not let this happen. And I smell it, I sense it, and it fucking pisses me off. It pisses me off that people are just floating through life and just doing nothing about it. And they almost try passively to be that kind of bump in the road. So that's what this is all about. My community, right here, Swole Normous, my private community, Premium, my program, my yoga group, everything, the commitment is to keep it absolutely 100, 101 fucking percent, okay? I will not allow that weak link to exist. I will not allow to let those poisonous individuals become a part of these communities. And I promise to do a much better job sifting through all the trash. And yeah, I'm using words like trash. And if you take offense, then maybe you're that person. How's that? Maybe you're that person. Maybe you're those people that are expecting things, expecting things to be easy, expecting handouts, expecting to not fucking put some skin in the game. Those of you, you know, that are part of those other communities, obviously things cost money in this world. Welcome. Welcome to the way society works. Welcome to business, welcome to the world of, hmm, I want something, I want a service. Oh, you mean I actually have to pay for it? Oh, big fucking deal, right? 
You pay for fucking candy. You pay for movies. You pay for fat fucking dinners that make your gut hang over your belt. You pay for uh, watches. You pay for shoes. But then you don't invest a fucking dime into your fitness, into your health, into your body. That's sickening to me. I'm not a big fan of fancy clothes. I'm not a big fan of fancy cars. I'm not a big fan of fancy watches. I don't give a fuck. But I will spend money on higher quality food. I will spend money on higher quality items that are gonna help me live longer and be healthier on maybe gym equipment, on, uh, you know, on fucking gym memberships. I have a couple gym memberships so I can work out at my convenience wherever I am. And the reason why, just to put this out there, it's good that gym memberships cost money. It's good that personal trainers cost money. It's good that my premium group costs money. And we'll talk more about that tomorrow because there's gonna be there gonna be some changes, there's gonna be some increases, there's gonna be some higher bars set to get into these groups because what it means, and it's very accessible to be a part of my premium community. Right now, right now it's just 11 bucks a month and you get to try it for a fucking week, which the trial might disappear. I want people that are ready to fucking go. But it's very accessible. It's very accessible. It's like, what, 20 fucking cents a day. But here's why. Like, oh, how come you have a private group? I have a private group because I want people that have commitment. And that's why it's a great group. That's why it's fucking amazing. That's why it's growing every day, every week, every month. Because I make sure that people that go in are committed. I just wanna make sure that those that are watching here are also committed. You have to put some skin in the game. If you don't bleed a little bit, there is no reason for you to put effort in. There's no reason for you to commit if it's just, oh, I might do this. There's nothing holding you back. I wanna grab you by the fucking balls or the ovaries and squeeze. So it's uncomfortable, so you have to fucking get it done. Some of you need to get slapped upside the head. What do you expect is going to happen? You're not doing this on your own. You haven't already. You're watching this because you need that little bit extra. There's nothing wrong with it. Professional athletes have coaches. Why do you think sports teams, guys are getting paid five, 10, 15, $20 million a year, have managers, have coaches, have hitting coaches, pitching coaches, shooting coaches, strength coaches, Professional fucking athletes, the top bodybuilder in the world, Phil Heath, has a trainer, has a coach. Everyone needs that extra. Everyone needs that extra push. Everyone needs that extra aspect, that extra perspective. Everyone needs that extra. I need it too, but I get it from you. You fuel me as much as I fuel you. It's a cycle. It's a community because we're all committed. So this will not happen. Okay, think of Swole Normus and think of the brand, think of premium, think of everything as the land of no fucking missing links. And that's on me. I'm not coming after you hard. I'm telling you that that's on me. If there's a weak link, it's my fault. It's because I am not being attentive enough to who I'm allowing into this circle. And I'm doing a great job, it's growing. Everyone's wonderful. I'm not saying I'm doing pitiful, but I have high standards. I have high standards for what I want to create. I have high standards for where I want this community to go. And I smell it. I fucking smell it. I smell that bad fucking fish and it's starting to permeate a little bit. And I get these hairs on the back of my eyes, I just get fucking pissed off. And I know when I feel that, that there's a reason. So I'm just putting that out there that I want you to be committed. I want you to be committed but I can't force you to be committed. I want you to invest in yourself, but I can't force you to invest in yourself. I want to inspire you, but I can't keep you motivated. You have to figure this shit out. You have to ask yourself if you really want it. It's not easy. I sent out an email, I think it was Friday. A lot of you like answered me back like laughing because it was you know fucking harsh. I was talking about a baby sucking his thumb. You know, float some hearts with thumbs if you read that email. It was great. I mean, if you haven't checked it or if you you know haven't checked your spam folder, check it out. Uh, if you're getting caught up in that, because it was real. It was a real email. It was. People think it's going to be easy. It's going to be fucking hard. You're going to gain weight. You're going to get hurt. You're going to 
not get the results you want. You're gonna toil endlessly and not get the results you want. I mean, it's just, shit's gonna fucking happen. It's life. You have to start enjoying it. You have to start accepting the path, the rhythm, and you have to accept the hard work that goes along with it. I want people that are gonna accept the hard work. I'm in this journey too, everyone. I'm on this journey too. With Premium, with Swolnormous, I'm on this journey too. I want the right people with me that are gonna go forward together. Who's floating those angry, like sad, redheaded faces? Fuck you, what the hell does that mean? I want people that are committed. If any of you are getting butt hurt, it's you. If any of you are taking offense, it's you. If any of you are getting self-conscious or you know, feeling a little bit frustrated because I'm talking about commitment, I'm talking about you being maybe a lazy fuck, I'm talking to you. That's right. If you're taking offense to this, anything that I do, if you take offense, if you take offense to what I'm saying, I'm talking to you. That's the answer right there. If you're loving this and you're like, fuck yeah, you're good. I'm talking to you. So I hope you get offended. I hope you take it personal. I hope you think I'm calling you a lazy fuck because if you think I am, then I am. Are you committed? Are you truly ready to make a change? Are you truly ready to do this? Are you truly ready to invest your time and to put effort in? You're gonna get out of this community, of this community, of the premium community, of the 90 day dash, of live yoga. You are going to get out what you put in. No free handouts. It's hard fucking work all around, but there's absolute accountability, there's absolute support, but you gotta put in. Skin in the game. Skin in the game, you gotta fucking put in. Put your chips in the middle, and I'm not talking about soft bets. I'm not talking about, oh, I'll match you. I want that pile of chips, I want all in. Emotional, everything all in. You have to go all in. You don't go all in, you're not gonna get the results. That's just the, everything in moderation, fuck you, that doesn't work. No one that gets great results in anything, in business, in relationships, or in fitness, no one gets amazing results with moderation. That's the biggest fucking pussy ass thing to say. Everything in moderation. No, that's an excuse to not put in hard work. Moderation is fucking trash. You have to go all in or nothing. And you can go all in on multiple fronts. You gotta put all your effort in. You have to try as hard as you fucking can. All the fuck in. Thank you so much for joining me for episode 436 of The Daily Mother Swole, the most muscular podcast, broadcast, beardcast, swole cast in the realm. Because when I flex, you flex, we all flex our biceps. Every day, 12 noon Eastern time, right here on Facebook, YouTube, you could check it out, Swole Normous, SoundCloud, and iTunes. If you have not left a review here on my Facebook page, please do so after I sign off. Uh, leave her an honest review right here on my Facebook page. I appreciate it. And also on iTunes, if you have not left a review yet on the iTunes for the podcast, I appreciate that as well. So catch you on Instagram. Make sure you follow me over on Instagram and Snapchat for the stories and for the feeds. Lots of more content all the time. Thank you so much. Have a very, very wonderful Sunday fun day. And if you're not committed, ask yourself why. This is a wake-up call. I'm calling some of you out. Everyone else, I'll catch you on the game train. Peace, McGee's. Deuce, McGoose. Bloop, bloop. Later, everyone.